Hello everyone and welcome to another PC gaming basics video. Today we're going to take a look at how to update graphics drivers. This time we are going to take a look at an AMD system. So we're looking at our cheap uh, £300 PC because it does have an AMD graphics card. It has an R9 280X. Uh, which is kind of old now, but the uh, procedure for updating drivers still pretty much the same. It still uses the same drivers as any as any of the more modern sort of Vega or what is it, Polaris uh, GPUs. It still uses the same procedure uh, for updating. So again, uh, for updating our drivers, again we want to know which uh, operating system we're using and. Uh, it's just good to know. So we showed you to go to control panel last time, but you can go to just type system, and it'll give you the uh, the uh, the screen on Windows 10. So you've got your uh, Windows 10 that we're running here, and again system type 64-bit operating system. Once again, we can go to device manager, and we can see our display adapter right here now mine says Radeon R9 200 series it is an R9 280X I know you know I know exactly what it is but it doesn't seem to identify itself uh, readily to you um, you know like the GTX 1070 did uh, for the Nvidia one I don't know why it doesn't do that to be honest with you uh, but it is close enough uh, for looking for drivers now Again, we'll show you how to install drivers from the beginning. A lot of people said just use the automated systems for the last video, but I always find that if you're going to use automated systems, then, you know, if something goes wrong, it's best to sort of look at the manual ways and show you the manual methods. Uh, so we're going to go to amd.com, which is saved there on our... Google search. We don't really use Google a huge amount on this. So we go to amd.com. Uh, we're going to go to drivers and support for our graphics card. Um, there we go ahead here. You can, of course, have the automatic uh, driver select. Download, uh, automatically detect and install your driver. Again, it can be problematic. AMD's, uh, unlike NVIDIA's, which is a web-based solution, it is a little program that you download, uh, download it, run it. It should find your graphics card, and if it does, then you know you can go through that. However, if it doesn't find it, we've got the manual select. So the type of product that we have, we have a desktop graphics is what we have. Uh, we're not running a laptop. Um, again, pick whatever it is you're running. If you're running a laptop, it'll be notebook graphics. If you have an integrated GPU, It'll be our APU, as AMD call it. It will be under APU, Accelerated Processors. It should be under there, but we're running a desktop graphics card. So we're going to select desktop graphics. Uh, select the family, product family that your product belongs to. Uh, we have an R9 series. Again, it's an R9 200 series. If you had a Vega, the new Vega series, you'd pick the Vega um one if you have the rx ones pick the rx if you have an older hd series there you go for that if you have even older the legacy drivers you could pick them it goes all the way back to the old rage series they were really old uh i have an r9 series you can have auto detect and install as well but we have an r9 series graphics card pick your product select the value we have an r9 280x so we're gonna go for r9 2xx series if you had an r9 380x for example pick the 3 series for some reason it's got the 290 and 290x and 285x and the 270s as its own separate cut as its own separate category there but we'll go for 2xx because our card isn't listed we are to 280x basically and again our operating system is windows 10 and we checked it was 64 bit so we get our results displayed here um there it is right there it's the 27th of december 
Uh, we'll scroll. There it is. I'll scroll down. Yep. Uh, Crimson Relive 17.72. Or 17.93 is the op optional driver. Okay, that one. Yeah, I think we'd go with the latest one. 17.9. Point three rather than 17.7.2. If you had problems with that one, I would go with uh, the Crimson Relive 17.72. Uh, but go always go with the latest one. So you just hit download and that would be it. But we're going to show you how to do it. Uh, download, follow the instructions. Uh, we're going to show you how to do it from an already install because we already have our Radeon settings. We're just going to right click the uh, little icon down here i have it down here ready on settings or you can right click anywhere on your desktop and go to ready on settings you should be given a screen like this we do have a notification here uh ready on software update is available again i uh, always have this as and uh, there it is 17.8.2 currently installed and again 17.9 Point three it is the same as the driver on the website again you can have this uh, check for updates here uh, I'll see how I can't remember how we go to preferences and can't remember how you set this up we got notifications on enable system tree yep we want that um, Maybe under system, maybe. No, it's not under system. I can never remember where it is, how you set up new update. Uh, preferences might be under there. That was the same screen that we went to. Um, I can't remember how you set it up. So that's what's currently installed. Uh, you can hit check for updates. It'll just tell you there's a software update available. Uh, what you can do is you click on this. Express upgrade, custom upgrade, release notes. Uh, generally, I just go with express upgrade. I said, are you sure? And launch the installer. Now, yeah, of course we do because we're going to go through with the graphics upgrade. I just picked express again, custom. If you don't want to install things like AMD Relive, things like the recording software, and you don't want the uh, sort of extra features that you get like the audio driver again i want the audio driver because i primarily use this pc i run it via tv so i want you know i want this to go you'll get the uh, standard software license agreement here accept and install and that's it that is it that's it for your amd driver fairly simple really uh, whether it's as simple as the NVIDIA one, yeah, pretty much is. Again, I just I don't remember how to get it to set up to download automatically. Uh, this one does require a restart, I'm pretty sure, if we go through it. Uh, but it seems to be fairly quick, this one at least. So we'll get through this uh, software again, flick through the ads. Whether the screen will go blank or not. I don't know, we're using an external capture device, so it shouldn't stop recording at least when the screen goes blank, I suppose. But there it is, it's fairly simple. They've made it fairly painless to do this. This is the uh, Crimson software, Crimson Relive AMD referred to it as. It is kind of similar to the GeForce experience, and when the PC has finished doing this, we'll show you, so we'll show you some of the features of it. It's not as... Uh, as sort of graphical as the uh, GeForce experience, but it still is decent. You can still go in and customize a lot of the game settings here as well. It only flicks through two ads, which is kind of annoying. At least Nvidia have more ads, at least that way. So we're getting to the end of it now. It didn't blink out. The screen didn't blank out, or maybe it will. Maybe this is just the sort of. Oh, now it looks as if it's going to blank out, isn't it? Nope. Maybe, yes, no. But yeah, the screen going blank isn't a concern because it's just removing the old display adapter and then putting in the new one. So of course there's going to be no display whenever you get that done, whenever it removes the old display driver. Uh, sometimes Windows puts in a generic display driver and that'll blank out and then that'll go in. But don't worry about it. Uh, I think, yep, yeah, there we go. There it is, done. Um...
There you go, that's the old driver removed, new driver in. Because of course removing the old display driver is obviously has nothing to display because it doesn't know what it is and we get the brand new display driver installed. It seems to set a <laughs> maximum and then take a while. But this is not it's not a, a lengthy procedure really. Um compared to what it used to be, you used to have to install and then go through. Sometimes you have to pick what driver you had, what uh graphics hardware you had when you installed it, which was kind of annoying uh with AMD drivers. AMD drivers were notoriously uh were notoriously quite poor, but they have improved quite a bit in recent years, I would say, AMD, they really have. So you've got your uh, Crimson Software 17.9.3 has been installed. Uh, unlike NVIDIA, we do have to restart. Um, if you want to use, if you're going to play games or anything, I would recommend hitting restart now. The computer will automatically restart and will join us uh, whenever. Oh, lovely. Typical AMD. This always happens with me. Always stops working. Shouldn't be an issue because it already installed it. So it should just go and restart and we'll join us. Okay, so we're back after the restart. I had to restart manually because it wouldn't restart after that. But it seems to be a little bug with AMD's uh, graphics drivers. Uh, we'll just right click AMD Radeon settings and we'll see what we've got. So our updates, and currently installed 17.9.3, we can check for updates, your Radeon software is up to date. Now what we can do is we can go to our gaming, I think it is the gaming tab, yep, and you'll see your list of games that it has detected here. So if we go to something like, I don't know, Black Ops 3, uh, it, it's not really as graphical as NVIDIA's. Uh, you can have things like frame rate target control, you can target 60 FPS uh, which will put a frame rate cap on it for you of 60 FPS. Of course you can increase this to whatever you want. You can set it to 120 if you want. 119, 121. 120 you can have it set to 120 FPS and what it can do is it will target 120 FPS. You can get it um, you can turn these things here, you can see the shader cache, AMD optimized, the uh, V-Sync you can have. Uh, do we get more options? Oh, that's just more for that thing there. You can have your uh, overdrive profile, uh, AMD processor, this is for the uh, overclocking if you want. You can set it up on a per game basis here. I don't know if it works. I don't know if Overdrive actually works with uh, older Radeon hardware. But there you go. You can set your uh, set a few things here. Tessellation mode. Again, AMD, not the best for tessellation. So AMD optimized. Uh, tessellation is an NVIDIA technology. But I guess, do we get other options for other games? Or is it just the same for every single game? Of course, you could change the global settings. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Um, texture filtering, you can say high standard performance. It's not, it's not as detailed. Uh, V-Sync, you can have it always on. You can't have half rate refresh like NVIDIA. Uh, but what you can do is, I guess, just set the frame rate control and just set it to, I guess, the lowest would be 30 FPS. Yeah, the lowest is 30 FPS. You could just set it to that. Turn it off. Uh, we don't want target frame rate control on. Uh, especially at 30 FPS in Bioshock Infinite. So everything it looks as if it's the same. It doesn't have the bespoke uh, gaming options like the NVIDIA one had. You saw for Quantum Break it had specific the settings were specific to Quantum Break. If we tried a different game, then the settings would have been different. But there you go. Um, pretty generic on the AMD. It's a little bit behind NVIDIA in terms of software but the drivers have improved dramatically over the last few years but anyway that is all for this video so thank you for joining me and we'll see you again soon